Welcome. So what I have here is 3w squared minus 12w plus 12 equals 0. And what we're going to do is we're going to solve by applying the quadratic formula. And it doesn't matter if we have w, and you can see above I have the standard form of a, a quadratic in y's and x's. Uh, we're still going to treat the variable as the variable. But it's important when solving using a quadratic that we have everything in our standard form. Therefore, we can identify our coefficients and our constant a, b, and c. So in this case, first thing I'm going to do is just label them. So a is 3 in this case b equals negative 12, and c equals positive 12. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is determine the discriminant, so I can therefore understand what my solutions are going to look like. So to get the discriminant, I'm just going to take b squared minus 4 times a times c. So here my b squared is negative 12 squared minus 4 times a, which is 3, times c, which is 12. All right. Well, uh, 12 squared is going to be 144. Uh, negative 4 times 3 is going to be a negative 12. And negative 12 times positive 12 is going to be a negative 144. Therefore, my discriminant is going to equal 0. Now, that's very important because what that's going to tell us is we're only going to have one real solution. So let's go to the quadratic formula and see why, when the discriminant is equal to 0, we're only going to have one real solution. So the quadratic formula, x equals opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. So as you notice that the discriminant is all under the root. So now I'm going to have 0 as my, dis um, as my discriminant. And I'm just going to plug in the remaining values. So x equals opposite of b. So since it's opposite of 12, it's now going to be positive 12 plus or minus the square root of 0 all divided by 2 times 3. All right. Well, when you take the square root um, of 0, we know that the square root of 0 is just going to be 0. Therefore, x equals 12 divided by 6, which therefore we can say our only real solution where this graph is going to touch and rebound is at a solution of 2. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve a quadratic by using the quadratic formula. Thanks.